Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. Now we are coming to the last of the Ramadan. You guys love my chicken peri peri recipe. So here I got another one for you. This is a special recipe to me and I love doing my chicken wings like this. Obviously marinating the same thing every time gets boring. So I like to twist things up. Now let's start with the recipe. We need some chicken wings. Um, I've got some peppers here. Um, we got some salt, we got some tandoori masala, some garam masala, some ground zira. Now I'm going to be adding some mustard sauce to this because the mustard sauce is going to make this chicken wing just amazing. Topped off with some nando sauce, peri peri, with some yaga, some lemon and some ground black peppers. Now this is what we need. Let's get everything together. Let's mix it up. Let's make this bad boy dish. I want to start off with adding salt to the wings. I want to add tandoori masala to the wings. I want to add some garam masala. I want to add some zira, good amount. And I want to add some mustard. I want to mix all this masala in. Give that a good mix. I want to add some more tandoori masala. I want to add a big dollop of yaga. Mix that in. We've got the lemon, half a lemon. Squeeze it in. You want to catch the seeds. Mix the lemon in. And now I want to add the peri peri nando sauce. Nice amount like that. Good amount. And you want to just mix that in. Everything is mixed in. It smells nice. I want to add the peppers. There you go boys, now that is ready. We wanna to top this off with some black peppers. I think the black peppers are gonna give it that extra smoky flavor. The wings are marinated, the wings will be going straight into the fridge overnight. You have to keep them in the fridge overnight because you want the wings, the chicken to absorbing all the flavors and the masalas you can't smell the hashbo dosta i'm telling you this smells amazing that masala mix is just gonna give this wing that boom you know the flavors topped off with the peri peri sauce the yaga the lemon you know all the kata mita and then you got the bit of mustard in there bit of tandoori in there it's just gonna be amazing now tomorrow i don't know am i gonna put this under the grill or am i gonna put this in the oven it's your choice how you want to do it you can barbecue it you can do whatever you gotta do but i am cooking at home so we're gonna decide what we're doing tomorrow so i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow welcome back now this is the second day we put the chicken in the fridge to marinate yesterday overnight to get in all the flavors and everything now I have decided while well, my wife and my mom requested that I grill this um, chicken because they wanted it nice and crispy. So it hasn't been too long, it's been about five minutes. I'm gonna pull the chickens out. I'm gonna toss and turn them. After I've tossed and turned them like this, what we're doing is we're gonna make sure that we keep these on the move. Trust me, you don't wanna burn the chicken. The more you toss and turn the chicken, the more better it will taste. It will cook the chicken right through and the chicken will soak up all the flavors guys same again we're gonna take the tray out 
and just toss everything as you guys can see the chicken is looking nice golden brown it's getting a nice color to it that's what we want but we don't want to burn it we want to cook it nicely toss everything over you got the juices at the bottom make sure you bring the juices to the top and straight back into the oven you need to do this quite a few times every 10 minutes toss turn toss turn it's however long it takes for the chicken to cook through guys i've got some yogurt just a little bit i've added some water and i've mixed it now the chicken is ready almost there you go as you can see the chicken looks good what i want to do is add yogurt to the chicken like this Let's toss this over. Add some more of the yogurt. Put that back in the grill. We're going to leave the yaga on there just for five minutes, heat it up so the chicken gets nice, warm, sucks in the yaga, sucks in the flavors and gets that tangy, yogurty flavor. And then we're taking the chicken out and the chicken is ready to eat. Boys here, chicken is ready. Let me take it out. Yeah, man, look at that. Guys, now that is ready. Let's go and do the iftar at mom's. Now, guys, before we go, have these amazing wings with the family and do our iftar. I wanna show you this product. Now this product has been sent to me by simpletome.com. This is a company that has reached out to me and asked me to review this product. So this product is Simple Tomes One Hand Simply Tear Paper Towel Holder. So basically, as you guys can see here, you can put paper towels on this and you can tear it with one hand what happens sometimes is your hands be dirty and you touch the towel and you touch the you know when you take the towel off and it gets dirty with this you just pull it out pull it and tear it and job done all in one hand now this is very flexible you can fix this under your cabinet on the side of the uni on the wall you can put this anywhere in the kitchen I've chose to put it on the fridge because it's white and it goes really nice with the fridge. So to purchase this product, all you have to do is go down into the description box below and you need to hit the link and that link will take you to their website. The purchase price for this at the moment is about $40, which is about £35. But because yours truly, BDN Vlogs, uses this product and I like it, I think it's the best thing in the kitchen to be honest with you they are giving you a discount so you're gonna put when you're gonna um check out the coupon code is bdn if you put bdn in the coupon code they will apply the discount and you can purchase this on a discount price for 27 pounds now wow it is a bargain trust me this is what you need in the kitchen this is the future the one hand tear paper towel holder it's start time baby chicken breast potatoes roast potatoes gajra the chicken by me peri peri today is simple what's this mom show me show come on boys we got dal again every day we have dal and we got the paratha here just a nice Three joint wings. We're starting off with the wing here, Tokoji. Let's break that three joint. That's the nibbler. 
Yeah, that wings is nice. Look how soft it is. Yeah, a proper peri peri wing man. Mm. We're gonna get the pratha with the dal. You have to have the pratha with the dal. Mm. Prata is nice. Well, let's break this wing. Hey, Toko, look how the wing just breaks. But everyone likes the wings. Peri peri wing in a mom in it. Where is dal? Yeah, Tokoji. Everyone's favorite dal. Dal? Mm. The gajar. Get some of that masala on the pita. That's the masala from the wings. So today's boys, this is our last rosa, inshallah. That we're gonna see you guys hopefully next year on the iftara. I think mom's gonna say goodbye, baby. Yeah. That's so nice. That's so nice. like a peri peri. No, man, you can have that chicken. Boy, the wings are a hit. Trust me, you gotta try them. Well, look. So it just breaks apart. This comes off the ball. Look. Boys, namaz is done. Oof. I'm a bit poorly today. I had a procedure. I had a like a little mini operation done on my ear, <coughs> which has affected me a little bit. But I am all right. Anna, it's last Ramadan today for the YouTube family. Hopefully, inshallah, we're gonna see them. Next year, now, nah. inshallah. inshallah. May Allah like, give you guys a blessed year. And that's Aruk Amna doing dua in the background like this. Amna say Amin. So may Allah SWT bless all of you. May Allah SWT shower you with mercy and his rahma. Amna say Amin. She's allowed to say Amin, isn't it? But so Amna has gone anti social media. She doesn't come on youtube she doesn't talk on youtube her billy is not allowed to come on youtube nothing zero which is good that's how the girls should be zero youtube Ariana. <coughs> yes that's how you should be so i'm not you got any desserts today it's last rosa i can't believe it we got no desserts that's not fair but i've got those cakes you know those ones you like the mr uh, mr kipling ones We'll have them with the tea. Nephew's here, yeah. everyone's here. Tolo. Let's see what happens, man. But as I told you guys, I had a procedure today on my ear, like a mini operation. So I'm a bit poorly. I need to rest. And back to work tomorrow, baby. Look, nephew's, nephew's landed with the desserts. He's got the entree. Amir Rambo calls this entree. Yo, happy bull, where are you, man? You've, your landline number's gone off. Because of you, Habibul, my niece is gone naraz with me for a few days, but now we are talking again. She was my best friend, I was her favorite uncle, but now we're not best friends and I'm not her favorite uncle, but we are just friends. That's not fair. Habibul ran off. 
Happy Bull. Dura hala, master hala. Yeah, boys, I'm not got some more desserts. What you got now, I'm not? What is it? Boys, chocolate entree and more. Yeah, I'm not. As you guys know, Amna is the queen of desserts. If Amna is around, you know we have desserts, baby. Definitely. Any? Any Amna? Entree, bro. Get a timer, mom. And tea time, baby. <laughs> mom forgot what time it is. So, mom will tell you, mom, what time is it? Tea time, baby. Tea time, baby. Wow. Brilliant. Hey, I'm not. Really really Boy, Cow. Look who loves Gajela. Comment below. Yeah. Last Rosa, boys. Goodbye, everybody. Iftar vlog finished. Mom, sorry. I guess on the like the iftar vlogs. <sighs> Next year we're back at mom's in here, yeah. I think so. But things in there, man. Alhamdulillah boys, Alhamdulillah, that is the Ramadan Iftar series coming to an end. 2024 Rose. That was the last day, last Rosa today. What can I say man? Time flew man. Time just flew. But tiny laga boys. All I wanna say that you know spend time with your family, spend time with your parents, your brothers, your sisters, you know. It's very important. The best time you can spend with your family is when you sit down and you have food together because you're eating, you're talking, you know, you're dining, you're spending quality time with each other. Very important. And Alhamdulillah, this Ramadan has come to an end and no one knows what's going to be happening next year, next Ramadan, who's going to be here, who's not going to be here. You know, my big brother, big Shazad, big bully, may Allah SWT bless him and make his life in the life after easy and grant him the highest rank in Jannah. Miss you, brother. Love you, man. And, you know, just time flies, boys. Spend time. Be good. Be real. So there's a quote that I um, come across the other day where the lady says that when you're driving your car, there's a big window which you're looking through which is taking you forward you're seeing the future you're going forward you're looking ahead and on top there's a rear view mirror this is small and that is small whatever you see in there it's disappearing it's going it's going it's going and that's how you should be in your life look forward look positive and whatever's in the past is gone it's gone forget about it move on you know and just be positive and you know hope for the best because Allah SWT loves you more than everyone you know so Alhamdulillah I'm really glad that you enjoyed the iftar series everyone enjoyed the iftar series and I do know that um, you know a lot of people have been getting in touch with me saying bro one hour before iftar we start watching your videos and we're getting hungry and this and that, but alhamdulillah, I just don't know what to say. I'm just so upset. Seriously, I'm lost for words. Um, I don't know what to say because I feel emotional. Ramadan's gone already. Ramadan finished. Time flew, man. This is the blessed month of Ramadan. Holy month of, you know, this is a holy month. And in this month, mashallah, you know, my brother's gone eat the calf. My brother rushes at eat the calf. My other brother is um at itikaf quite a few people have gone itikaf this year i just hope and i just pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses you for the rest of the year and i pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showers all of you you know with his mercy and his blessings and i pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
you know, makes the life easy for all the deceased and makes life easy for them in the life after for all the loved ones, the friends and family that have passed on and are no longer with us. And remember, we are next. We are going to be going following their footsteps. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses the people that are going through hardship right now through the world. There's a lot of innocent children, you know, who are dying, who are losing their parents, who don't have food, who don't have anything. The land is taken away from them, the houses, the parents, the families, and they're going through a hard time. And we are here. Asamanepia Moja. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. So, you know, I just want to say Eid Mubarak to all of you. Um, it is going to be Eid for us tomorrow. And what it is, I'm going to be at work. So, I can't get time off. So, I'm going to be waking up early, doing my Eid Salah. Probably going to vlog that. Do my namaz, do my thing. And then I'm going to be shooting after work. And I'm going to see you guys in the evening. All you people here, I want to say a big thank you to every single one of you for loving and supporting my channel and i really want to say a big thank you to all the people here that commented on my channel and told me all these positive things and you know a lot of people saying that bro we'll be enjoying your iftar videos you know you know family man family thing food equals family this is what it is man this is what we are you are everything with your family you are everything without your family you're nothing you're alone you're a nobody remember family is very important Respect your parents, respect your brothers and sisters. And, uh, you know, so make sure to like, subscribe, share, everything that is going on here. And you know what we're doing, boys. You know what we're doing next, isn't it? Ramadan is finished. The BDN kitchen smashing is burgers, open baby. now. We are back smashing burgers, baby. What we're doing? Smashing burgers, baby. What we're doing? Yeah, man, I heard ya. We're smashing burgers, baby. That's what we're doing now. So I'm going to see you guys on the next vlog.